Professional divers move around a lot. Today, I was in California. Tomorrow, I'd be 3,000 miles to the west. Hey, Daddy-o! I knew the voice, but I'd almost forgotten the face. It's me, Cougar Norris! Cougar Norris, a juvenile delinquent who straightened out a year ago. I'd helped with the straightening. He hadn't been around for months. How come today? Hi, Cougar. Oh, what I mean, man, it's like... It's like great to see you. Yeah, same here. How's everything? How's the world been treating you? Oh, no sweat, no sweat. Hey, why I made the scene is you're birding into a Louisville right now, huh? You're gonna have to play that over again for me, boy. Crazy. You're flying to Hawaii tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the translation. Uh, only it's not tomorrow. It's tonight. Oh, cool. That's great. How's for taking me with? What? Yeah. You eat just like that? Sure. Why? Well, you see, the thing is, you'll need a diving buddy. And you fly me, you buy me for nothing. Uh, you haven't answered my question yet. Why do you want to go? Well, you see, the thing is, since I finished school, I haven't been able to get with anything. Maybe I ought to do the college bit. I, I know I can make that scene, or the job bit, you know, like Ma says. You see, the only time I made it, when I was working with you. I figured maybe if we, like, you know, teamed up again for a while. You don't even know what the job's gonna be. Well, who cares? I'd be working with you, wouldn't I? I'm going after lionfish. Well, that's great. That's cool. What is it? That's a rare fish. And they're dangerous. Well, worse than a bunch of sharks? Uh, they'll be around, too. Well, that's for me. What do you say? A lot of action in Hawaii. Kind of distracting to you. Oh, I got no time for chicks. Oh, yeah? I'm not getting through to you, am I? Listen, I'd, I'd be with it all the way. And my bird fare wouldn't cost like hiring a diver would. Yeah, there's Hawaiian divers in the greatest, you know. Oh, I know that, I know. But they haven't got my charm or my, my personality. Come on. Okay. Gee, thanks. What time do we blast off? Uh, you'll be at the International Airport at 11 o'clock, huh? Just hoping I can get you a ticket at this late date. I got faith, man. I got faith. Okay. We made it to Honolulu by jet, then transferred to another plane for the hop to the island of Hawaii. Visibility was limited when we got there. Mauna Loa, the island's biggest volcano, was acting up. Cougar and I might have to put off hunting for lionfish till it calmed down. I kept the radio on next morning all the way out to our hunting grounds. Mauna Loa had been growling deep in its throat since dawn. If that's all it did, we'd be safe underwater. Or we might not be if it started coughing. Coast Guard Radio, Honolulu. Emergency notice to mariners. Volcanic activity continuing on Mauna Loa, southwest slope. All craft are warned to stay clear of area. This is Coast Guard Radio, Honolulu, emergency notice to mariners. What do you say, Cougar? You still want to do it? I'm still with you, man. The lionfish are bottom dwellers. If that volcano blows, it's going to scatter them all over the place. No sweat. We're like duck them. OK, man. Cougar was with it, just as he'd said, real eager. It so happens, though, that eagerness doesn't catch lionfish. They hide out on the bottom waiting for food. It takes a lot of looking sometimes just to spot one.
We'd agreed before going down that we'd take separate headings, hunt independently, and then return to our starting point. If either of us failed to show up in 10 minutes, the other would know where to go looking for him. I had searched in a circular pattern. Now, heading back to our starting point, I got quite a surprise. It was only a nurse shark. They're supposed to be harmless. But this one might not be. Or he might have some man-eating friends nearby. Ten minutes were up. Time for Cougar to join me. But my buddy was doing fine on his own. He had spotted our first lionfish. Now he was moving into a position that gave him a good chance to catch it. He had caught himself a sea witch. And she seemed to have murder in mind. She was more than he could handle alone, that was for sure. Uh, no mistake. He needed a buddy. I near did. I've been diving myself blue trying to find a lionfish. When I finally do, you scare it away. You been diving alone like this all the time? Yes, I have. Hey, that's very oh, hot. please. Now, don't give me that jazz about it. It isn't safe without a buddy. I've been taking care of myself by myself all my life. Look, baby. You want a lionfish? Well, that's crazy. What for? Do you mind? Oh, what's bugging you, babe? You are. You and the big brother. Keep out of my way, will you, huh? Till I catch that creepy fish. Hey, wait. Maybe, maybe we could, like, help you. My name is Cougar Norris, and this here is Mr. Mike Nelson. Cougar? You're kidding. Yeah, what's your name? Leilani Garrett. It's Hawaiian. I didn't say anything. Leilani. Don't dive alone. It's dangerous, especially in these waters. Why in these waters? Well, among other things, there's sharks in there. I just saw one. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah? Yeah. Well, listen. Sharks ain't all. The radio said that that big... I know, I know. Mauna Loa's got a tummy ache. It hasn't burped yet. So long, I hope. Dig her. She's more mixed up than I ever was. Uh, I think she is at that. She acts like she hates the whole world. It's the story of my life. It isn't until you straighten me out. Hey, you know, I was thinking that maybe, like, you, know, uh, you could... Thanks, she's the same, but I've retired. At least until I get this job, Vinnie's. We've got three lionfish to catch. You know that, don't you? Well, four. I owe her one. I thought you were going to be too busy for chicks. Somebody's got to help her.
there was still a chance that Mauna Loa might cut our hunting time short. So I decided to divide our forces again. And I was fine with Cougar. He wanted to lend Miss Oddball a hand anyway, if she'd let him. She'd more or less have to. We had her net. Cougar offered to give her the first fish they caught together. She bought the idea. Apparently, that charm of his worked underwater, too. Cougar had the true hunter's instinct for lining up game. Lilani wanted to search somewhere else, but he spotted a lionfish practically at her feet. It got him and got away. Cougar played it cool. He told Lilani that he was okay, so she took off on her own. Cougar didn't know that lionfish poison usually takes a minute or so to strike the nervous system. Now it hit with paralyzing power. With nerve poison, time is your worst enemy. I didn't look around for Lalani or wait for her to check back. I couldn't. Unless I got Cougar to a doctor right away, he stood a good chance of dying. I radioed the hospital on the way in. So when we got there, not a minute was lost. All the same, it had been hours before the doctor gave me the news. Cougar would recover soon, thanks to his general good health. There was some bad news, though. I wasn't looking forward to giving it to him when he woke up. Hey, Daddy-o. Ah, that time. Yeah, me worried, boy. Yeah? That's really way out, huh? Yeah, you sure were. Oh, it's just my head. No sweat. Uh, they told me to call him as soon as you came to. Yeah, we'll put this by your head. Hey, I get back. Oh, it's cool, man. When are they spring me, do you know? Uh, the doctor said tomorrow. Depends on how quickly you recover. It's quite a shock to your system. Tomorrow, that's solid. As long as that volcano doesn't flip its wig meantime. Well, according to the latest report, it's quieting down. It's crazy. Now all I got to worry about is that Leilani chick. Oh, why do you figure you have to worry about her? Well, you know, somebody's got to, like, team up with her. You know, keep an eye on her. Uh, just on the water, you mean? Oh, you dig, man. <laughs> That's all I mean. Now, I'll still do the net bit for you. Oh, I'm sorry, Cougar. You've had it. Huh? Who says? The doctor. You almost died. You're very allergic to that lionfish poison. Another sting like that, and you'll be done for. You mean I, I can't make with the diving anymore at all? Not in these waters. Wouldn't be wise. Well, what do you do for a buddy, then? Well, I just have to hire another one, I guess. Leilani, you could, like, 
help her catch a fish, and she could, like, help you dig? She sure got next to you, didn't she? Oh, it's just this dopey idea she's got that she has to do everything by herself. I'd like to learn her better, is all. Well, we'll see what happens. If she's out there tomorrow, I'll talk to her. Thanks, Daddy-o. Okay. Oh, no scam on me washing out, huh? Chicks, chicks don't get with a chicken. It's all yours. Next day, Mona Loa was still huffing and puffing, but it sounded mostly like bluffing. I decided to take a chance and go hunting. So did Lilani. Hey. Hi. What was that all about yesterday? Oh, cool it, baby. I bumped a lionfish. Big Daddy did the rescue bit. A lionfish? Are you all right now? Crazy. Uh, he's not diving today. Oh, the kind of on the lower. He's uh, going to stand by the radio. Yeah, I heard it's acting up again. <laughs> My father phoned and told me to be careful or something. How does he make it? You know, like bread, what's a man do? Oh, he's a professor at the university. I want to get the lionfish for him. He doesn't think I can, though. I will. You better figure take it easy out there today. Yeah, we don't want you, like, you know, getting hurt. Why? What difference would it make? Listen, it'd make a big difference to me. <laughs> sure, sure. That's for true. Lonnie? I'll, uh, I'm gonna need some help out there today, huh? Maybe you might need some help, too. What do you, what do you think? Would you, should we team up, huh? All right. Good. Now, you stand by that radio, you hear it? Uh, here. I'm gonna tie this light on to me. And if you hear anything, you take out the slack in it, huh? And then keep yanking until I return your signal. Uh-huh. Listen, Daddy-o. Thanks a lot for what you did. Really. Volcanic activity at critical level. Underwater turbulence recorded. Possibility of tidal seas. All craft are warned to stand out to sea. This is Coast Guard Radio Honolulu. Volcanic activity at critical level. Warning to all mariners. Coast Guard Radio, Honolulu. Warning to all small craft. Turbulence recorded. Possibility of tidal seas. All craft are warned to stand out to sea. This is Coast Guard Radio, Honolulu. Warning to all mariners. Underwater... Submarine earthquake. Mauna Loa must have erupted. Why hadn't Cougar signaled me? The radio must have carried some kind of advance warning. It was time for 
us to get out of here. But Leilani suddenly was too frightened to move. I didn't have to look around to see what was scaring her. What I saw straight in front of me was enough to scare anyone. That did it. Leilani was in a panic now. The earthquake had stirred up the bottom dwellers. The ocean was boiling with fish, not only sharks, others just as deadly. Lionfish, they were everywhere. The last place in the world for Cougar Norris to be. Cougar knifed in between us. The lionfish just grazed his shoulder. It could be enough, though, to kill him. give Lelani a chance to get topside with Cougar, I nominated myself as shark bait. The nomination seemed about to be seconded. I'd be able to stop one shark with a spear, but not a whole pack of them. For that, I'd have to try something new. A squeeze bottle filled with liquid chlorine. It was supposed to repel man-eaters, but it carried no guarantee. It was a good hospital. Cougar had almost reached the point of no return. But after six days, they've managed to bring him back. A lot had happened to Lalani in that time, too. I told my father what happened, how I might have been killed if it weren't for you. And for you, too, Mr. Nelson. You know what he did? He cried. So your father does care about what happens to you, huh? was wrong about him. Not just about him, Doc. Oh, sure. That's why you're leaving the islands with Mr. Nelson. Well, it was all your fault, Alana. You helped me catch all the fish that I needed. I know. I'm sorry, almost. Dig her. I'm not leaving the islands. What? Well, you got mine, Cougar. Well, I got, like, uh, something to do here. Yeah, I know, but what else? No, 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 it's a, it's a job, man. Like for bread, Dig. At that uh, ocean fisheries thing in Honolulu. The doc uh, put in the fix when I told him. Tell him, well, what are you talking about? Well, you see, I want to help the brains, like, find a cure for that fish poison jazz, okay? Okay. You bet it is. The ocean fisheries have an office on our campus. Did you know that? Well, what do you know about that, Daddy? Yeah, how about that, huh? <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. Hi. I'm Lloyd Bridges, inviting you to join us for another action-packed story of underwater adventure one week from today. <laughs> <laughs>